Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Quincy Morgan, tech lead at OpenStreetMap US, and I'd like to welcome back for the next session uh, our executive director, Maggie Colley, to give us an update on the programs of the organization. Take it away, Maggie. Thank you, Quincy. I'm going to push this button and we'll be off and running. All right, I hope you all had a great break. What a wonderful last session. Um, nice to see everyone. I'm Maggie Colley. I've been in the role of executive director for, gosh, five years now um, in March. Before that, I served as a board member for a number of years, and I got my start in OSM through the Teach OSM project. So it's a little bit about me. Uh, but this presentation is about OpenStreetMap US. We are a membership-driven nonprofit, um, and many of you probably don't know a whole lot about us. We were founded in 2010, uh, so we're almost hitting our 15-year anniversary as an organization. Uh, for the first nine years, we were led by all volunteer boards that would get voted in every year by our membership. Uh, so many people have served on our board, which is fantastic. We are also a local chapter of the OSM Foundation, and collaborate with our fellow local chapters through the local chapters and communities working group. We have a small staff, so um, I've already introduced myself. Um, Nellie Blair has been serving as our administrative coordinator since 2020. Um, so all those emails and messages you get, Nellie is always behind the scenes. Um, so you remember updates and all that fun stuff is coming from Nellie. And then you just met Quincy. Uh, so Quincy's been our tech lead for a couple of years now, and he will also be giving a presentation later about those programs. You'll also hear from our current board. Um, 4.50 p.m., they'll be talking about the board service and, and what that's like. So potentially you'll be running as well. And then there's a the community. So, I mean, OSM US is here to serve uh, the many local communities around the United States. Um, here are just a few groups that meet up. Uh, Actually, the bottom right-hand corner is Map Time Be More is one of the first groups I joined as a mapper. Um, top, top right is uh, Open Street Map New York mappers. Um, and if you have some pictures of your local meetups, please send them to us and we'll put them in our next presentation. So what do we do with OSM US? So we are convening and building space to collaborate, just like this conference. We kind of sit in the center of all of the different stakeholders that use OpenStreetMap and rely on, on this amazing project for any number of reasons. Um, so, you know, our citizen volunteer groups, the private sector is a big part of OSM. The government is increasingly in the U.S. becoming reliant on this project. And then you have nonprofits and academia leveraging OSM, not only for the data, but for its pathways to learning and, and geospatial understanding. Um, and I'm sure we have representatives from each of these groups here today. We'll, we'll do a poll and see where everyone's coming from. Like I said, we're a membership driven organization. So we've had members since inception in 2010. Um, here's kind of the current level of membership. It has increased every year, which is exciting. Um, so if you're not a member, join us today. It allows you to, to vote for the board. You get discounts to our events and uh, regular member updates. Last year, we also started our organizational membership program. Um, this is the goal of this is to build deeper relationships with those other stakeholders in that previous slide. You know, a lot of the times it's a one way relationship between OSM and, and its consumers. And we want to change that in the US and start building those bridges and, and creating conversations that go both ways. So if you're interested in learning more about that, there's also more information on our website. But thanks to our original members, we've got six members now, um, and we're always looking for more. Number of things that we do here, uh, we hold events. So, I mean, how many people in the room have been to a mappy hour? Hopefully many of you, we've been holding mappy hours for years. Um, our first larger uh, virtual conference was in 2020, Connect 2020, and maybe some of you presented at that, or this is our fourth virtual conference. It's our third mapping USA. Um, we participate in something also called Fed Geo Day, which will ha be happening in April in DC. It's an in-person event dedicated to open source and open data in the federal government space. Um, maybe the name of Fed Geo Day gave that away. And then our State of the Map US Conference is our flagship event, um, and that's coming up in 
June. Here's a few pictures of the community from the Richmond State of the Map US. Maybe a few of you here have had attended that. It was a, a great gathering of folks um, and we hope to repeat that again this year. Registration for that is now open um, and we also have early bird tickets on sale until February 29th. It's an easy day to remember because it's leap year. Um, our call for speakers is also open. So anyone who's speaking here today or maybe submitted a proposal or even thought about submitting a proposal, consider dropping your name in the hat for um, speaking at the upcoming State of the Map US. We'd love to have you. We also have our call for sponsors open. So help us throw the best party in GEO and, and help sponsor the event. It's how we can pay for, you know, everything that goes into running State of the Map US, so. OSMUS also supports programs. Uh, we have a growing list of, of programs that we're investing in. Um, Dan talked a little bit about them, but we have Mapping for Impact. So we're partnering with nonprofits and other civic organizations to fill their data gaps and create tasks that support their mission. Teach OSM has been around for a while. Uh, we have some, a great steering committee and now a new education working group that helps provide training content, connects educators to mappers, um, and really starts you know, spreading OSM into classrooms around the country and even on the, in the world. Our tasking manager supports projects all over the globe. And then our trail stewardship initiative that Diane talked about. Tech and tools, I won't steal Quincy's thunder here, um, but there are a number of tools that we support at OSMUS and here are just a few of them. Uh, Quincy will talk a little bit more about each of these at 4.10, so in an hour from now. We also have our charter project program. Uh, I think we have a few of those members here today. So hello everyone. Um, we provide you know, a sustainable home for, for tools in this space. Um, Quincy will also be talking about this program. I'm missing a working group on this slide, the education working group, but we're increasingly adding more working groups to our um, availability for folks to collaborate. So we have a monthly collaborator sync, which is mainly you know companies or, or private industry supporting OSM or, or dedicated to OSM. We have our trails working group that meets twice a month. We have a government work, working group for all those serving in public service, uh, that's the one for you. That's been meeting for four years now and it's been a great space for collaboration. I'll talk a little bit more about that working group. We have our State of the Map US Planning Committee. Our program every year is chosen by volunteers. Um, so that's, that's ongoing, different group every year, but I know there's a few folks that have probably been in every committee. Uh, we recently started an imagery working group. So bringing folks together to think about the future of imagery and in OSM and, and how we rely on that and maybe change our approach to that reliance. And then we have a governance committee. So this uh, migrated from our code of conduct committee. And these folks make sure that our elections are fair, that our safe spaces are safe, and that you know, we're all doing the best we can as, as far as governance in OSM US. I'll spotlight the governance uh, government Working Group, uh, since it's something pretty unique and it's our longest running at this point. Um, we have participation from a number of federal agencies, and I think we're actually up to 75 plus representatives. Um, we formed it back in August of 2020 uh, to figure out ways that, you know, OpenStreetMap and, and U.S. government sometimes have a lot of overlapping uh, goals to provide data to the public. Um, so been an amazing collaborative group and has led to two of our big programs and projects is public domain map and the trail stewardship initiative. Quincy will, will talk about PD map, but if you haven't heard of it, it's a new workflow to address federal and data needs and contribute to open street map at the same time and combine those, those crowd, our crowd with the federal government crowd um, and just get more data out to the public. The Trail Stewardship Initiative, Diane talked about that last block, but uh, we've been convening, oh gosh, for a couple of years now, uh, working on best practices for tagging trails, developing those tagging guidelines, um, basically for mainly US trails. Uh, trails can be different all over the world. Uh, but the thing I love about that group is it's it really brings together those those major stakeholders in the, into the same room. So, you know, the app, developers building recreation apps for, for consumers, the government 
land managers, and then the mappers who are creating the data. So it's been a really inspiring group to work with. If you haven't seen it, we did launch our, our Utah uh, expanded pilot. So the Utah campaign has started and um, the goal is to map all of the public lands in Utah and update those tags. So if you haven't heard of this, uh, check it out on our website. There's a lot more information. And join the Mapathon tomorrow. You can learn how to update trails. Uh, we'll be mapping Bryce Canyon. So see you there. Other volunteer opportunities. Um, OpenStreetMap US wouldn't be what it is without all of the great volunteers in the community. Um, we have our tasking manager that has a number of tasks. Um, and you'll see icons in the corners. So we have our mapping for impact programs. So keep an eye out for projects supporting those nonprofits. We've mapped, there's a lot of swimming pools in New York City, but volunteers have mapped like 40,000 of them. Um, so that's pretty amazing. And thanks to everyone who contributed to that project. I happen to really like mapping swimming pools <laughs> and playgrounds. We've mapped so many playgrounds across the US uh, in support of Kaboom. Mapping for resilience. Um, our task manager is always open for people to create tasks um, in response to disasters. So recently, the Vermont floods mappers came together and mapped for that. In Alaska, the Juno glacial outburst, and then the Maui wildfire. So thanks to everyone who contributed to those. And the mapping for trail stewardship, I already mentioned that, but if you'd like to, to learn how to do that, come out to tomorrow's Mapathon or just check it out online. There's some great instructions in those tasks. And then mapping for civic engagement. Um, like I mentioned, the Public Domain Map Project will have more tasks coming soon, so keep an eye out. Other ways to get involved, um, become a member. We have a monthly newsletter. If you have a story to share or you know a case study, please share it with us. We'd love to to do a community spotlight on you in the newsletter. Um, join the Slack. It's a great space to ask questions, meet other mappers, and we have hundreds of channels um, from anything from bike mapping to Chasm to any other thing you could think of probably with an open street map, the topic is probably there. So don't be shy and then also get mapping. That's all I have. So thank you, Mapping USA. Um, Thanks for being here and I will pass it back to Quincy. Thanks, Maggie. We have a few minutes left. If anyone has questions, I can put them in the chat. Um, there was a comment from Gregory Powers said it's awesome to see US DOT as a partner. Um, I, was, I have a question if you wanna talk about some of the, um, uh, the partnerships you're most excited about this year. I think this year for OSM US is going to be a big focus on the recreation space. Um, I'm really excited. We've been having meetings with the Forest Service and BLM and, and really bringing land managers into the conversation with open street mappers and, you know, the community to figure out how to solve some of the big problems in, in trail mapping. So I'm really excited to see where that's going um, and to be out in Salt Lake City in June and actually have some of those conversations live, which would be great. Awesome. 